I do want to say that there's absolutely no need to panic. In fact, there's not only is there no need to panic, that's exactly the wrong thing uh, to do, but we should all take this seriously, prepare uh, for this, and arm yourself with the facts. Governor John Bell Edwards addresses the coronavirus outbreak, sharing ways for Louisianans to protect themselves. Your Health Matters in NBC 6 is Jade Jackson is live outside Willis Knight in South, sharing how you can protect your family. Jade? Dan, Jackie, doctors I spoke with today say that you want to stay prepared. Things as simple as washing your hands or wiping down everyday items that you use every day can help. The coronavirus is a respiratory virus, so it affects your nose and lungs. It's similar to the flu, except there is no vaccine for it right now, which is why those exposed or who have contracted the virus have to be quarantined. Doctors say the most common way a respiratory virus is spread is through coughing or sneezing. When you cough or sneeze, there's a large amount of virus that can spread into the air, and coughs are strong enough to have that uh, material go out for about four to six feet. So if you are sick, stay home. For those not sick, stay away from large crowds to limit your exposure. The second way a respiratory virus can spread is through contaminated surfaces. That's why wiping down everyday items you use at home or work is crucial. Doorknobs or other places where uh, the virus lands. So if, the, if somebody coughs into their hand, and then touch the doorknob, they could contaminate that doorknob and then if someone else comes by, uses that doorknob and then touches their eye, their nose or their mouth, they could spread that virus to themselves. Dr. Bikini also says you need to wash your hands for 20 seconds with soap and water to prevent the spread of illness. Singing the happy birthday song actually twice to yourself is 20 seconds. Also using hand sanitizer is okay, but soap and water is a better option. Live at Willis Knighton in Bossier, Jay Jackson, NBC6 News. Jay, thank you very much.